Afton, good to find you here. The raven feeder returns. Now keep quiet. I'm hunting a band of traitors lurking about this swamp. Who told you there are traitors here? My scout. He asked me to join him here, but he is nowhere to be found. Have a look around. Tell me if you see something. Eivor, search the perches and lookouts here. He could be spying from above. Olav! Speak to us! Where are you? clinging to life. I should carry him down. I found your scout, but his wounds are grave. Olaf. Poor Olaf. He will be buried with honors. I will see to that. Walk the bridge, old friend. I will see you on the other side. The Anton may track his attackers. Get them, boy! Good boy! Follow their trail! Sniff 
them out, boy! We will paint the ground with their blood! Who are these men you suspect of treason? Thieves who stole my war spoils. Looks abandoned. Are you sure someone is here? The trail ends, but nobody's here. Here, a hidden entrance. It might be lurking below. These pipes burst and flooded the tunnel. Even this old Roman work cannot withstand the icy kiss of Winter's goddess. Look there. The pipes cut through that wall. Could there be more rooms beyond? Hold on, we'll find a way through. I can't get through! The way is blocked! There must be a way to let Aftan through. An opening of great size. The Romans were fine craftsmen. These chambers are vast and decorated, and laced with piping. Yet they went mad and vanished, just like their gods. Moira's books tell us so. Ah, here, you see? Spoils of war. Mine! Stolen from me! I am beset on all sides, Eivor. By plotters and schemers. What kings and jarls are not? Your territory is vast and wealthy. Every day decisions I make change the lives of thousands. It is a burden few could bear. Yet I do. I do. You spoke with Moira. What did you learn? She means well. I don't believe she would poison you, not willingly. She also said she has seen your illness before, in her own family. Said it came on slow, but was... incurable. No. No, this is not an illness. This is poison. Somehow someone is poisoning me. Shh! Listen. These will be the thieves who stole my tribute. Smells like a trap.
Wolf kissed and half done. Well met. Come, fill your bellies with meat. You stole this tribute. By rights, this is mine. It was meant for me. We stole nothing. Faravi gifted this to us for a hard day's battle. And did you take my scout Olaf in that battle? Your brother in arms? Did he too have to die for this tribute? That was... that was Olaf? Damned fool! We thought he was a thief! The only thieves here are the ones drinking my mead and spit-shining my silver! You! Cowards and traitors! We are owed this bounty, Jarl! For battles won and blood let! Eivor, you tell him! They only took their rightful share. You are traitorous worms. But Eivor seems to think you deserve pity. So I will give it this once. Return my spoils to Donacaster, and I will wipe this day from my memory. I can't do that. It is our share. We fought for it, killed for it, bled for it. If we don't get the glory, we deserve our share. The barking will stop. They forced my hand. Take hold of your fear, Hafton. It can poison your mind. Faravid killed this man. Not me. He forced my hand with slights and trickery. He... <coughs> Forgive me. I, I find it hot in these furs. The, the day must be warming. You have a meeting with Faravid. Is that not right? I do. At the waltz. Yes, I know the place well. It is on the road between Jorvik and Pichiringa. Press him, Eivor. As hard as you can. Never let up. And bring me proof of his treachery, or otherwise. No right. They had no right to... It's rightfully mine. Survey the area, Sudan. Yo! Eivor, welcome. Join me in drowning this golden drink. You made it. Come, have a drink. You're a few horns deep already. <laughs> Yet still floating. Tell me, how did my old friend like his goblet gift? There were other things on his mind. Your man Ulfra, for instance. He died protecting the spoils he stole from Hafton. Ulfra. Poor Ulfra. I told him to mind your tongue, but he wags it like a slobbering dog. Was Hafton always so easily riled? No. 
Riches and glory have shaped him into something new. He is not the same man he used to be. The songs of scalds and the glint of silver can turn even the best of us. He was a fierce man in days past, but he has lost the bite he once had. He's too careful. He ruminates and hesitates. What is this place? I expected an army ready for Warcraft. This was our first camp in Northumbria. I came here with Hafton and his brothers, Uba and Ivar. We besieged Jorvik and put King Alla in the cold ground. Those were good days, now too far gone. What is all this? My share of the treasure we took from those distant days. I buried it here for a rainy day. This bag is heavy with silver. Enough to pay for an army. Come! Race me to Jorvik, Eivor. Remind me of the glories long gone. You're too drunk to win a race. Then have a drink. Make it fair. What's keeping you, friend Eivor, waiting for spring? Your horse can smell the ale dripping from your mouth. You frighten her. It warms my heart that you're concerned. But Hulda and I can hold up. Having trouble keeping up. My horse must be deeper in the cups than I am. What are we doing in Yorwick? You haven't said. Paying a visit to our kept King Rishie. Long may he reign. I haven't enough men to beat the Picts alone, but with Rishie and his feared, we'll finish them off. You'd bring a puppet king into this fight, but not your Yol? Keep this to yourself. The streets have ears, the windows have eyes. I did not agree to this level of deception. You should have told me this before. Eivor, my friend. If I describe my full strategy, we might never leave the campfire. I'd prefer the light of a fire to the darkness of your plans. Don't do it again. If they see me, this will get messy. <gasps> I must ask for you. Make no mention that Hafton is ignorant of our plans. It's better this way. Are you mad? Rishia answers to Hafton. You put this man in grave danger if he defies his master's will. 
Rishie cannot defy orders he has never heard. No. Trust me. I will take the blame should our plan fall apart. Eivor the wolf kissed and half done's cupbearer? What a curious surprise. I hope the day finds you and Jorvik well. Yes, we scrape by, with what little we still own. But this new war should make us wealthy once again, until our tribute is taken. I smell the bile on your breath, King. Do not forget who is in charge here. Oh, do remind me, Faravid. Yesterday it was half done, but today I hear whispers that you are leading the charge. I am confused. Yes, you answer to Hafton. And now, he orders one final strike on the picked stronghold at Magnus. To make war with the North on such a scale will require a hefty amount of silver and a large force of men. My soldiers and silver are pledged already. I expect the same from you. I have given my aid as well. The battle must be decisive. I see. And you have these orders from half done in writing, yes? From the great man himself? Not with us, but you can rest assured half done has need of you. He expects a swift victory. I'm sorry, Faravid, but duty compels me to refuse. Without strict orders from half done, I will not risk the lives of so many. You deny me? I do. To gift you an army puts my wealth and reputation at risk. That's not what Hafton wants. He needs a strong and loyal king. You presume to know what Hafton wants. Hearsay is not enough. For all I know, this is another of Hafton's tests. <laughs> 